Hello and welcome to Top 5 Rankings. In this channel, I'll be ranking various genres of films and TV shows in a Top 5 Ranking style. Get ready for a new analytical channel that ranks certain TV shows and films where I give my opinion on each film or TV show. In this video we will be ranking my favourite drama slash crime slash sci-fi slash big TV show that you can imagine. This video is my own opinion, so try not to take everything I say personally. So again, it's my own opinion. However, I will also be taking into consideration the fact that ratings from major companies such as IMDB and Rotten Tomatoes have an opinion as well. This video contains spoilers for various TV shows, so this is your warning. In our fifth spot we have House of Cards. And the butchery begins. House of Cards is set in Washington DC and starts off by following the story of a menacing Frank Underwood who is a Democrat from South Carolina. He is ambitious to become Secretary of State but slowly becomes President of the United States of America. Claire, played by Robin Wright, is the wife of Kevin Spacey's Frank Underwood who is equally as ambitious for power. The two go through a lot on their quest for power such as Frank Underwood murdering a journalist as well as a failed elect governor. We also get to see how corrupt the American politicians are in order to gain power. The show continues to impress as Frank Underwood breaks the fourth wall and speaks to the viewers which gives the audience a better insight on what's going on and even a sense of intimidation when Frank is getting angry. What are you looking at? So if you're interested in American politics, you like binging TV shows and great actors such as Kevin Spacey, then this is the right show for you. Coming at number 4, we have True Detective. True Detective Season 1 is a dark crime drama TV show set in America that follows the story of Detective Russ Cole played by Matthew McConaughey and Marty Hart played by Woody Harrison. The two detectives investigate the murder of a prostitute who then have to revisit the case 17 years later having their lives completely changed. This is an action-packed television film with drama, murder and mystery. I definitely recommend it. Season 2, even though not as good as the first season, has some really good actors such as Vince Vaughn, Rachel McAdams and Colin Farrell, which follows three policemen from different police departments following the crime of a man that had recently died. I would give this season a 7 out of 10 as it simply just lacks a major ingredient such as better writing and, and, and pretty much everything the first season had. However, season 3 comes back strong, which changes my opinion to a smacking 9 out of 10. I really like this season because it follows almost the same narrative as season 1 by having a normal cop and a weird cop. This season is dark and very dramatic and was really well done. Huge props. Coming out at number 3, we have Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad nearly made my number 2 spot, but the reason why it's not is due to how lengthy each season is. The story follows Walter White, who starts off by being an average chemistry teacher and then turning into the greatest fictional drug lord that has ever lived in any fictional universe due to selling lots of meth. Alongside him is Jesse Pinkman, who had already been making meth before he joined Walter White. Walter then decides to join him and this slowly starts to turn into the, one of the most iconic and dynamic duos of all time. Some notable episodes include Felina, Ozymandias, Say my name. Just to name a few. Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. This show is a dark and very dramatic but is very romantic story as Walter needs to go into the Bennett business to raise money for his wife and children. I am the one who knocks. At our number two spot, we have Peaky Blinders. By order of the P. 
Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders is a hit BBC TV series and is a favourite amongst many TV shows out there. The story follows the Shelby family and their company, the Shelby Company Limited, in the 1920s. The Shelby family is ruthless and very intimidating, with Tommy Shelby on the brains of the family and a few others by his side, such as Polly, John and Arthur. We can see how a gangster family in the 1920s made their business by murdering and betraying. Now who doesn't want to see that? The TV show is dark and very exciting to watch and I really recommend it as it's really good to binge. I also want to include honourable mentions in this video, such as Prison Break. I'm getting you out of here. Burles, roll it up. Happy hour's over. It's impossible. Not if you design the place it isn't. Narcos. Plata. Or plomo. Vikings. <laughs> Walking Dead. And Stranger Things. When it's cold, I'd like to die. Number one Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones could be argued not only to be the best drama TV show, but it could be considered as the best TV show of all time. Its high budget and beautiful execution makes it a very binge-worthy TV show. Game of Thrones has a high amount of romance and discussion, betrayals, battles and murder. A lot of murder. So be careful, because if you start to like a character, be prepared because they could die in the next episode you watch. We're looking at you, Ned and Rob. Mother. The Lannisters send their regards. Game of Thrones has a vast array of heroes such as Jon Snow and Daenerys who are willing to give their lives for their family and friends. Game of Thrones had a wide variety of villains, each with different attributes that you love to hate or that you just hate to love. Joffrey, the little sh Tywin, who's a menacing imposing dude who's really good at doing his job, but is a straight up bully towards Daenerys. And even the zombie Iceman who just, just likes to kill really. Game of Thrones is the highest rated TV show of all time due to their high budgets that can be notable episodes such as Hard Home Spores of War and the Battle of the Bastards, just to name a few. So all you have to do is start watching Game of Thrones and make sure that you enjoy it. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and you have appreciated my opinion and most of these opinions are subjective. So don't roast me in the comment section, please. Make sure to click like if you have enjoyed the video and subscribe to see more content like this. Make sure to comment on the video suggestions and try to hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to see my video. Thanks for watching guys.